Is there a level playing field for men and women in your world? As in, you know, the, we don't see as many female gurus, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just asking. I mean, is there a glass ceiling there as well? Somewhere they just don't get enough. <laughs> Let's… let's understand this properly. You being a male or a female essentially is of the body. If you're talking spirituality, we're not talking about the body, we're talking about the inner nature of this life. So, one thing I want to say is, women can never get enlightened. They're, all, they're already enlightened. They can assume <laughs> but a man, it's impossible for him to be enlightened <laughs> because if you're identified with your body parts, how will anything larger than body happen to you? Hmm? If you're only identified with your body parts, how something beyond the body can ever happen to you? So the question is not whether you're a male or a female. The question is whether you're identified with your body parts or is it something beyond which is functioning within you. So, the question of you being a man or a woman doesn't even come into the picture. So, generally always women have been more spiritually oriented. Maybe they did not become well known in the society as spiritual leaders simply because you must understand, it's a question of transport and transmission. Because in ancient societies, a woman got pregnant. From fourteen to forty-five, she was either constantly pregnant or breastfeeding a child. This… this was simply happening all the time. There was no… this was the natural process. Today we have a choice. This is the first time we have a choice about this, isn't it? Otherwise, it was simply happening. So she traveling long distances and teaching and becoming known in the world did not occur at that time. But these days some are coming, but I wish they had put in little more sadhana about themselves. Uh, in the Isha Foundation, in the Isha Yoga Center, I'm, I did not do this by design because I don't look at them as men or women when I give them responsibilities. But somehow, somehow, though I'm very level in my head, in spite of that I think nearly seventy percent of the positions are held by women. Not because uh, I'm trying to promote women, I won't do that. <laughs> I don't promote men or women, I just promote intelligent people <laughs>